This is lines 263 to 269 of Ovid's account of the story of Pygmalion. And Pygmalion is in the middle of his uh, delusions, um, or maybe his growing delusions, that, that his statue that he has made, this perfect woman, is actually his real partner here. And um, he has just been giving her gifts, and now also, Quoque, he he dresses her limbs, adorns her limbs with cloth, with clothing. So he puts clothes on her. Um, he gives gems, jewelry, to her fingers. He gives long necklaces to her neck. Um, uh, earrings are light on her on her ear, or really her ears, even though this is singular. Um, and it's important to note that these are nominative, so we're not we're not including dot here, and it must just be assumed that we're we're seeing with this. So the earrings are light, or light earrings are on her ears, and uh, we have garlands here. Redemicula are also um, necklaces of a sort, but probably made of flowers, garlands of flowers. They hang on her neck, or excuse me, on her on her pectus, on her chest, and the all of these things, um, they they are fitting. They are appropriate. Um, he he's he's pleased with how she looks. And then let's take neck with minus and formosa. And no less uh, beautiful, shapely formosus. Here, no less beautiful does she seem. Nude, bare, naked. So she seems. Uh, so naked, she seems no less beautiful. And he places this one, her, on bed sheets. And so this is a bit of a synecdoche, right? A part for the whole. So not just on bed sheets, but on the bed itself. And they're tinged, they're stained, or maybe better dyed with the Sidonian conch uh, or conch. So requires a little bit of an explanation. In the ancient world, you made that really beautiful Tyrian purple, that, that um, purple of the stripe on the toga, that purple that, that signifies royalty and wealth and all of that. You made that from a, a seashell called a murex. And, um, and, and, uh, and that's what, what we're saying here is so that he laid her on purple bed sheets, all that is. So bed sheets or a bed uh, dyed with, with purple. And he calls her, we can assume that there's an aom or maybe the honk here again, an ally of his bed. And so sokiam is a bit of an appositive here to the implied honk or aom. So he, he calls her his, his partner in his bed. And her neck having reclined, having laid back, he places on soft feathers so we assume pillows, as if, and then censura here is the future active participle agreeing with cola, uh, technically here, modifying cola, and probably what Ovid means here is he places her there as if she could feel it. Um, and, you know, take a step back here, right? This is a statue made of ivory, and he's placing her on soft pillows as if, you know, this is this was a consideration for, for this statue. 